I don't use a lot of wood filler. Most of what I do is solid wood and traditional exposed joinery. You've seen my stuff. But I just wanted to show this product off. Uh, it's been around forever. I got turned on to this like 30 years ago. Durham's Rock, rock Hard uh, Water Putty. They used me as a model on this uh, a long time ago when I was a little baby. That's what I looked like when I was a baby. Anyhow, uh, it doesn't take a lot. You want to, and the thing about this is it's just a little bit of water, and you want to mix as you go. A little bit. That's it. A little bit of water. I made this thing here. It's just uh, I was putting fresh water in this thing to wipe stuff down. You can buy wood putty, and you think, okay, it saves time, but it never lasts if you don't use it very often and uh, it'll go bad after a while and this is just so much easier and you can adjust your consistency to what you want to do and once it starts stiffening up you can always add a little bit more water to it and get it to work again you see how easy that is now we're done already and uh, I mean it's just super smooth and again if it starts getting stiff you can soften it up just by adding water It's real simple stuff. You don't need to leave too much on there. I'll even come back and shave these flush a little. It'll make sanding easier. I just want to say that I don't look as bald in real life as I do on these uh, videos. Something about the lighting or something. <laughs> I know, you come here for the information, but you get a chuckle, so it's good. And that's it. We'll jump on to the next one already. These are going to go up on the wall and support shelves. And uh, for this project I'm working on, you'll see it soon. You'll start to see, you'll see when I start installing this, because I want to talk about a, uh, a system <clears throat> that I use when I hang things on the wall. Obviously, I always look for studs. Where I hang these... There may not be a stud in the wall, so I'm going to use these screw-in drywall anchors for like a cleat that goes on the wall, and then the cleats that go behind the shelves are going to all have, uh, they're all going to hit the stud, so that cleat will really support everything, and these can't fall because they hold themselves up, I mean they're boxes, so I got a set of nail there, anyhow, that's it. More on the Astro Van to come to. I uh, have a system that I want to talk about. I want to be doing things in a way that uh, are not what you've been seeing on the internet. So I'm going to do it all on the super cheap because a lot of you can't afford to do what we see everybody else doing. So I'm going to do it in that way. Plus, I know it's not permanent. I can rip it out anytime and do it nicer. So. And yeah, that's how that stuff works. It's pretty nice, real simple. There's a reason why this product is still on the shelf and has been used. You can use this for all kinds of things. <clears throat> if you do a built-in and it's up against drywall and you damage the drywall a little bit, instead of putting drywall compound into a spot where there's wood hitting it, I mean, obviously that gap, it's always better to caulk it because caulk expands and contracts. But on the drywall surface itself, it's if it's going to get human... Uh, usage, you're going to be butting up against it or putting pillows or something. You can patch your drywall with this stuff, it'll hold up much, much tougher than the uh, drywall compound. Have a good day. Bye.